welcome back to my channel, Do What You Love. Today I really just have an extension off of my DIY Dollar Tree pomegranate wreath. <laughs> I took it one step further and I also bought a smaller um, willow wreath and I made a candle ring out of that. So when I bought my pomegranates and my um, mini um, mums and cattails and things like that. I just saved a little bit of the portion of the big um, bunch that I bought to make sure that I had enough to make a ring wreath for my candle as well for my table. And I have to tell you with the Dollar Tree um, little salt and pepper shaker squirrels and I picked up the pumpkins last year, it just looks adorable. And everything you see is from Dollar Tree. Well, whether I purchased it from this year or last year. The gold charger I purchased last year for Christmas and the pumpkin placemat I purchased from Dollar Tree last year and I pretty much keep everything if it's in good shape from year to year so I just added the gold charger and the pumpkin um, placemat to give it more of a fall um, feel and I added those cute little squirrels and pumpkin salt and pepper shakers and I think it just turned out beautiful. But the basis of this is the willow wreath with the brand new um, floral pomegranates that the Dollar Tree brought in. And when I saw them, just like I said in my last video, I love them and I wanted to do as many projects as I could with them. So I thought a smaller um, candle ring wreath would be awesome if that's what they're called ring wreaths or maybe just a candle ring i'm not sure exactly the wording of what it's called but regardless i think it's adorable so my intro will probably be the longest part of this video but i will walk you through the steps on how i made it because it it's very similar to my pomegranate wreath but there's just a few little things that i did different because um you're going to be looking at it at a different angle it isn't going to be up at you it's going to be down on the on a table so there's just a few little things that I did different but these two pomegranate DIYs from the Dollar Tree are super cheap super simple and if you are looking for a project that's like one two three like you want to do some DIYs for fall but you don't have a lot of time I'm telling you these two are great for you <laughs> I think my wreath took me to put the actual wreath together, I swear, eight minutes. The longest part was cutting all of the branches off of the like the big stalks that they come in. And for this pomegranate um, candle ring, five minutes. Five minutes, guys. Such easy peasy DIYs that are beautiful. They add richness and beauty to your home for the fall season. And if you were looking for a quick DIY, I'm going to say it again. This is your DIY. So hurry up, get to the DT, get yourself some of these new floral pomegranates because they are beautiful for fall. So to get started making your candle ring, of course you're going to need the mini pomegranates from the Dollar Tree and any other floral that you like. You're going to need a willow wreath, but make sure it is the smaller version so that it fits just snug around a candle, some wire, some scissors, and some wire cutter. That's it, simple and easy. Same things we needed to make the pomegranate wreath. We're just making a smaller version. And I had some mini mums and cattails left over from my pomegranate wreath and that is what I'm going to continue to use. So here is the smaller version, looks just like the bigger version and I'm going to basically do the same thing. I do recommend, just like I said in my last video, take the time to cut all of the branches off of the stalks that you get from the DT. And for this one, I alternated the maroon pomegranates and the pumpkin, like it's a pumpkin color, I guess it's like a pumpkin orange pomegranate. So I did, um, alternating instead of just putting in a few of those oranges i wanted to bring more of the orange into my home so i alternated them and then all you're doing is the same exact thing you're just sticking the stems of the pomegranates in between the branches of the willow wreath they go in as you can see they're not hard to do and then i just fluff out the leaves because the leaves give you a nice um coverage for spaces that are kind of bare but the willow wreath isn't so natural looking it doesn't matter a little bit of it shows 
Now that I have my candle ring formed with my mini pomegranates, I'm going to be adding the mini mums and cattails. And just like before in a wreath, you want all of your pomegranates to go in a circular motion so that it looks uniform and not misshapen. You're going to do the same thing with any floral that you added. And on my big wreath for my door, I clustered my floral to one side, but for a candle holder, I don't think that that works because you're going to have it sitting on a table, for instance. So I want my party that sits at my table to be able to see some of the floral from each side so I actually put some of my mini mums and cattails on the left side and the right side but I had to remember to keep it in a circular motion so in order for that to work on um, one side which I think it's the right side I'm, I'm looking at this upside down so I think it's the right side kind of stays up with the pomegranates and then you see as the pomegranates go around they start to point down so when I put the mini mums and cattails on that side I will put the mums and cattails facing down so one side the, the floor will be facing up and on the other side the floor will be facing down and that will keep that circular motion kind of thing going on and make your pomegranate um, can ring look um what is the word i'm looking for symmetrical <laughs> It'll have a nice circular flow to it, I guess is what I'm looking for. So that's my only hint for that, is just to keep that in mind so that it doesn't look misshapen or off. And as you can see, I'm really struggling with this one. The one thing I noticed is the smaller willow wreaths, they're made a little tighter, a little more bound, if you will, than the bigger ones. So they were a little bit harder to get um, the stalks, the stems, if you will, through the little grooves. I really had to work at that, but I did finally get it. Now, as you can see, see I'm pointing the, that side of the flowers down so that it stays in that circular motion with um, the mini pomegranates. And just to bring some extra security, I'm taking some of that gold craft wire and I'm wrapping it around and tying it all the way around the wreath. I think I used three or four on this one and um, I just twist tie them in the back. And then when I'm finished with it, I just fluff up the leaves from the pomegranates and the floral and it covers it perfectly, even up close because this is sitting on your table. So you're gonna be very close to it. That wire is so thin and with all the leaves and the pomegranates and the floral, you can't see it at all but I know it's secure and I know it's safe on there. Now I'm going to show this to you in two different ways. Um, here I used a mini cake stand, if you will, that I purchased last year from the Target dollar spot and I placed the candle on top of that just to give it some depth. Like if you're looking for depth, if you're gonna have a lot more things like on your table, this is a great way to get height and depth. And I like it, I just wish the white maybe wasn't as white. <laughs> maybe if I had a more fall color, um, the white wouldn't look so stark, but I do like the depth and the height that that gives that. But I really think I preferred this style, which is just placing the candle itself inside the candle ring. I really think that that looks beautiful and elegant and I really love the warmth that it brings to the table. And if I would definitely use this as a centerpiece like for a family gathering or a tea or a lunch with my girlfriends, I really think this brings it in a beautiful fall vibe into my home and makes it feel warm and cozy. And I really do love it. So that's it guys. Just like I said, the most simplest DIY ever. And the star is the mini pomegranates from the DT, which is a beautiful addition to the DT floral um, that they have there. I mean, DT floral is great to begin with, but when I saw these, I was just like, oh my gosh, I love these. And I've never seen them at the DT before, so I was super stoked. And listen, guys, if I can just slip in there real quick, if you are looking for a quick DIY project, you want to do a DIY, but you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you want something simple and easy, I'm telling you, not only is this DIY pomegranate candle ring super easy, super cheap, and super quick, but so is the DIY pomegranate wreath for your door. So easy. And if I had to put a price tag on the wreath itself, I don't, I don't, I want to call it a wreath, but I guess it's a candle ring. I want to go candle ring wreath, <laughs> but it's a candle ring, $3. Two sprigs of pomegranates and the ring itself, the wreath, because it was a wreath. So the wreath itself, for $3. But if you want to achieve this entire look, 
without the candle because of course that is a bath and body candle you can get candles from the dt you can get them even cheaper at walmart but without the candle this thing cost me seven dollars the charger that i set the candle on i got last year from the dollar tree at christmas time because it's gold the placemat that it's sitting on i got last year from the dt and it is a harvest one it has pumpkins on it and then of course the pumpkin salt and pepper shakers that you see sitting behind me they were last year's like in thing for last season of course they were a dollar this year's in thing salt and pepper shaker are the squirrels which i sat right beside it so if you put all of that together that whole look without the candle of course cost me seven dollars to achieve and i think it is just adorable and then i did show you two looks on here so if you were to add the little white stand which i picked up from the target dollar spot that was an additional three dollars but even that i didn't pay that much for so it's all in what you like if you needed a little height with your candle you can add one of those cake stands that you can get from the target dollar spot like i just said for three bucks or you can leave it just like it is. I personally prefer it like this without the cake stand, but that's my personal preference. Now, if I had a whole bunch of stuff along with this on my table and I wanted depth and height, then I probably would add back the um, little cake stand, but I really just love it just like this. Total look, seven bucks, but if you were just gonna do the candle wreath, ring, candle ring, whatever it's called, $3. So if you're looking for a super cheap and simple DIY because you don't have a lot of time on your hands, I'm telling you, my wreath and this candle ring are the way to go. Five minutes. Five minutes. The longest part about this DIY is cutting all of the pomegranates off the stem that it comes off. <laughs> that takes the longest, really and truly. So I'm going to quit rambling. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you guys like my DIYs and you're super excited about my fall collection coming your way, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you subscribe and stick around because the holidays are coming and this is really when I love doing YouTube because I have so many DIYs. I love to go to the Dollar Tree and shop, 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 so I have tons of hauls. And then everything I haul, I do DIYs and I put to use. <laughs> so if that sounds fun to you, please subscribe and stick around. But as always, guys, take care of you. Never forget to always do what you love, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.